Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. I secured All India Rank 10 in AIMS undergraduation exam in back in 2012. Having done my undergraduation from AIMS, I did my MD in Pediatrics and now I'm currently pursuing my DM in Pediatric Oncology again from AIMS Delhi. In this video, we'll be talking about how do you study in the last three months before your NEET UG examination. So let's assume your NEET UG examination is going to happen between let's say May 20th to May 31st or in the first week of June. So you roughly have at this point of time, if I'm making this video on uh, 15th of February, you roughly have around uh, three to three and a half months on the higher side, if it gets a bit delayed, four months to prepare for your examination. How do you revise? How do you go about this? You know, so I'll make a video. I'm, uh, I'll be making video for essentially for people who are uh, giving the exam, maybe the second or the third time. For those who are going to give their boards at this point of time, first refer to my video on how to manage boards and need at the same point of time, then you'll get a sense about this. Essentially for those who are giving this exam second uh, time or third time or uh, further attempts, you have to make sure that you do two revisions. Okay. Two revisions right now is the key along with one final booster revision. Having said that, that booster revision will boost. It's, I'll, I'm calling that booster revision because it will further boost your score from the one that you are getting in towards the end of your preparation. These two, but these two revision will, re, revisions will ensure that you get a rank and you crack the exam and that furthering of the rank will be done by that booster revision. So you have to do two booster revision. The first booster revision needs to be done in 60 days and the second booster revision needs to be done in the so the first revision needs to be done in 60 days. The third, second revision needs to be done in 30 days. Now, how do we go about revising the subjects? You know, physics, kab karni hai, chemistry, how and do you do it? And biology, how do you do it? So we have a total of around 190 to 100 chapters. There are 40 chapters in biology and 30, 30 odd each in uh, physics and chemistry. Right. But the importance of biology is more. Biology is 50% while physics and chemistry is just 25, 25% of the syllabus. Now, how do we go about this? We go about this in this way. Every day, make sure you solve one full length paper. You have to do this and you ensure that you do not solve it in three hours. Try to solve it in two and a half to two hours. So on the exam day, you feel that the number of questions are less. Okay. You have to make the life tougher for you right now so that the exam day is easy. Remember this. I have to do one full length paper in the duration when, when you're doing the uh, when the actual exam is going to be there. So your body, each and every molecule in your body during that period of time is prepared for the exam. For example, for example, let's assume the exam is going to be conducted from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Then every day from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and maybe from 10.30 to 12.30 if you're practicing for just two hours, you have to have to solve a full length mock paper in order to get yourself into the feeling that you're giving an exam again and again and again, so that your body is prepared to give in that particular time slot the exam. Okay, it helps. It definitely helps. I've done it. A lot of people have done it. Definitely helps. The second thing I'll be talking about is if you do know, if you feel that your syllabus is not complete or you're not confident about this, in such a scenario, I'll say you can skip to the full length mock features in the last 30 days of revision right now, but at least try to give two third mock. What is a two third mock? You give chemistry plus biology or you give physics plus biology. Okay. At least try to do this biology right now. You should be start giving full mocks, but even if you have not remembered everything or whatever, not doing full mocks, you start to give. Ideally, you should practice previous year questions, not the coaching based question. Do the previous year, start doing the previous year question. If you have not already started the full length neat papers, previous years, EIP, PMT papers, even the state PMTs, they also are equally important during the period of time when state PMTs used to occur. Okay. First practice that then go on to coaching mocks because coaching mocks are going to be tougher rather than you should stick to what kind of questions actually are being asked. So this is the mock part. This will take two hours to three hours of your day done after that since you have to do 100 chapters in 60 days which brings you me to an average that every day you do have to do around 1.5 chapters but doing one chapter a day of a physics is tough right how will you do 1.5 chapters a day so the thing is basically you actually end up doing two chapters of biology and half chapter of either physics or chemistry daily so this will break the monotony also that you are doing biology. Let's assume you are doing biology. So two chapters daily of any unit. For example, today you decided that you will do human physiology. So you have to make sure that you finish human physiology in four days. Okay. So in your, if you are going to finish human physiology in four, uh, let's assume finish in four human physiology in four days, you read the bio NCRT, you read the NCRT in one, one and a half hour, you read the entire chapter with maximum concentration over two hours. And for one hour, you practice as many MCQs as possible, preferably NCRT based MCQs. 
I myself will be, I have made an app. I wanted to help you guys. I myself will be uh, putting sort only NCRT based MCQs of human physiology. I want to make sure at least from human physiology, you guys get 100 out of 100 marks from NCRT based questions. I will be making mock test 90 question test from each chapter. When I get that, it will take time. Obviously, it's going to take some time, maybe next 20 days, next one or two weeks. But I myself will be helping you with that uh, aspect. But whatever book you are having right now, please solve NCRT based MCQs and please solve previous year questions for the past 10 years at least. So two hours you read that chapter and one hour you solve the MCQs. Same again, do this for the second chapter. Six hours this, two hours for the mock, eight hours you have studied. Obviously in between you're taking breaks as well. And then dedicated three to four hours for the chemistry half topic that you're revising. For example, you're doing modern physics. So, you know, thoda part modern physics ka pad liya. You're doing thermodynamics, the initial, you know, just does the first law of thermodynamics, not the second and the, uh, the second law or the, the zeroth law and the first law of thermodynamics. Yeah, Carnet's engine thoda baat pad liya. So every day, half chapter of physics or chemistry. Okay. And biology ke do chapters. So if you do two and a half, obviously you will not be able to follow this. This is a tough plan. But if you plan for two and a half, you will be able to achieve one and a half. You're getting my point. The reason I'm saying two and a half is because so if you actually focus on, you know, make your goal so high, even if you achieve 50 to 70% of it, so you will actually be able to cover your entire syllabus in 60 days. You have done this one revision. Then for the next 30 days, you're going to do your second revision and make everything compressed now. In the last one month of the revision, everything should just be MCQs. Now is not the last month is not the time to read theory. It's just to read MCQs, just to do keep on doing numericals, keep on practicing MCQs even in biology. And after practicing MCQs, go back to NCRT and read from which line of NCRT did I miss the question if you're getting a question wrong in biology at that point of time. Okay, you're getting my point. You do the question, you read back NCRT. You go to the question and you read back NCRT where you're getting that question wrong. Okay. And then one final push, booster push. This is the toughest part. In one week, you have to revise the entire syllabus. This is not possible. I personally could not do it. I was able to do this, uh, uh, you know, 60 plus 30 as far as my entrance exam was concerned. Uh, I actually did it in a rather compressed manner, very frankly. I did it in a 30 plus 15 day manner. That one week is very tough. I will definitely agree. But in the last one month, you have to have to just keep on practicing MCQs. And then go back and see the theory part not the other way around the theory part and doing mcq wala jo scenario hai wo abhi in 60 days mein karo aakhri one and a half month mein nahi karna hai abhi is 60 days mein tumhe kaise karna hai you have to read the theory of biology then practice mcqs two hours theory one hour mcq practice mandatory in fact i'll say one and a half hour theory and one and a half hour are mcq practice jitni theory padi utni mcq practice bhi tumhe karni hai equivalent or at least 40 percent physics and chemistry ke case, you have to practice MCQs for three, three, three and a half hours as far as that is concerned. Overall, this thing will ensure that you are studying at least for 12 hours a day, two hours ka mock, six hours of biology, art and three hours you have to give physics and chemistry in the last chapter. Karne mein. Aisa karte rahoge, obviously, you will not do it every day. You will falter, you will do something wrong, but at least on an average, you will be able to do one and a half chapters. And this will ensure you complete the first revision in 60 to 70 days. The second revision in 30 days, usko compress kar do, jo cheez dhone jitne mein ki thi, usko ab aadhe time mein karne hi koish karo. And agar kar sakte ho, tuk final booster revision. Kar di toh bhoat hi achha nahi kar paai, toh in do teezo ko follow karna hai. Hopefully I will be able to clear a lot of your doubts. So thank you and have a nice day.